An online petition is calling for the Department of Infrastructure to repeal recently introduced charges in its car parks on Sundays. Steve England of Manx Business Review says scrapping free Sunday parking in Douglas will be a blow to the island's already struggling retail sector. So far he's collected almost 700 signatures on the change.org website backing his objections. Mr England says he's convinced the changes will end up encouraging people to shop online at the expense of local businesses. What is effectively going to happen with this the government actually now saying you know, we need to start charging people parking on the Sunday is driving people back to their keyboard and saying well actually why should I pay the additional cost if you like of the petrol getting the, uh, the vehicle into town and then to find that uh, you know I get a parking charge that I've got to pay for in addition as an additional expense. And Mr England says he hopes to have a petition people can sign available in the Strand shopping centre from the end of next week and we'll be hearing more of his views a little later on in the programme. We'll have a quick break and then we'll hear more about an online petition which has been launched which asks the DOI to scrap Sunday car parking charges. Just gone 11 minutes past five here on Mike's Radio and probably other places around the island as well. An online petition has been launched asking the Department of Infrastructure to scrap Sunday car parking charges. Until recently, parking in its Douglas car parks on the Sunday was free, but the DOI has now started asking drivers to pay. Steve England of Manx Business Reviews has set up a petition on the change.org website demanding that changes be repealed. He told Jason Roberts why he and almost 700 other people who have already signed object to paying. People are coming to town, coming from all over parts of the island, whether it be Kurt Michael, Ramsey, Peel, Port Erin, Castletown, makes no difference where they come from, but they're coming to Douglas to do their specific shopping, maybe on a Sunday. Maybe it's the only time that they actually have to be able to get into town. In doing so, it's keeping the economy going, it's keeping businesses being able to turn over their products, make their sales, keep people in employment. What is effectively going to happen with this, with the government actually now saying you know, we need to start charging people parking on the Sunday, is driving people back to their keyboard and saying, well, actually, why should I pay the additional cost, if you like, of the petrol, getting the, uh, the vehicle into town, and then to find that I, you know, I get a parking charge that I've got to pay for in addition as an additional expense. Or those that might not have seen the sign, as many have found out this weekend, have come back to find they've got a, a parking charge notice slapped on their windscreen. It's not appropriate. You know, this is a time of austerity. People need to be looking to, to make as much saving as they possibly can. Where, where do you draw the line? You know, there has to be a, la- a line drawn somewhere that people have to stand up and say enough is enough. Well, Steve, can I ask why you're so interested in this issue? Do you have a business that you're worried about? Not me, per se, no. But I, I'm a strong supporter of the Isle of Man. I'm a strong supporter of the local economy. I like to see businesses you know, develop as, as opposed to try and get off their two feet and, and all of a sudden, you know, because they haven't got these, these customers coming in through the door, that they, they've fallen flat on their face. The government is about trying to encourage business development, it's trying to encourage the economic development of the Isle of Man. This is not encouraging the economic development, if anything, it's closing the door on it. Well, can I ask which car parks this affects? Because, of course, you have the Douglas Corporation car parks and then the Department of Infrastructure ones. These are solely the Department of Infrastructure. This would be Chester Street car park and also the Drum Gold Street car park, or as most people would probably prefer it to as Marks and Spencer's car park. I mean, it's certainly not had a lot of publicity, this move. I don't remember any sort of consultation. I don't remember people being asked about it, really. I certainly haven't seen anything about it. Um, there's nothing put in the public notice just to say that charges would be increased, to the best of my knowledge. Um, I looked through all the, you know, the local press bulletins and releases. I certainly didn't see anything announced. Steve England talking there to Jason Roberts.